Sauce Walker went viral for saying, loving a woman is the biggest weakness of a king. Do you agree or disagree? I agree. Loving a woman. Okay, look. You can love somebody, but I look at it as how you love. I see a lot of sucker niggas like on the internet, like taking pictures, like looking girls in the eyes and you know what I mean? And doing like my thing is though, okay, we post these girls all over our page, right? And you find out she did something because she going to do something. <laughs> and after you find out now, you didn't got to delete all these pictures off your page because you fell in love. You hit her all over your page. You put her first. Probably be way richer if you put the bag first or whatever your goals was first. But you put love first. Niggas be it's all it's it's a lot of guys out here are like women. They really want to be cuddled like a bear and you know what I mean they want to be cuddled it don't even be the girls it be the guys sometimes which is cool but when you go over and beyond and have to look stupid later and have to delete all them pictures and then have to find a whole nother girl and rush into relationships and have to post this girl on your page all over to make that girl mad and this that shit is too much it's like get to the bag and have control because at the end of the day life works like this whoever has the most money has control Whoever, ha if she has more money than you, she going to treat your ass like a worker. If he has more money, baby, you going to be the worker. It's the control. Now, niggas don't understand, even when you have the bag, if you're treating this girl like she's the control and you got more money, then you just a goofball because now she about to play you like a piano. You feel me? A lot of guys I know with a bag get cheated. Like I was even getting cheated on, but. I felt like I was getting cheated on because I was doing whatever I wanted to do any motherfucking way. You understand what I'm saying? So I had a lot of bitches and doing this and doing that. And you know what I mean? I was just like, whatever. I get cheated on. So what? But at the same time, I feel like the bigger, the more money I put into myself, the bigger I grow. It's almost like you need to force somebody to say, damn, should I cheat on Sean or not? I wonder, should I cheat on Sean? And is it worth it? You got to make a person think like that. Is it worth it to cheat on this person? Because this person is in power. This person can change my life. This person is opportunity. You feel me? Mm. That's deep. Great, great perspective. Uh, there are still good women out here, though. No, Don't get it fucked yeah. up. You no, know, no. Hell, bro. It's definitely some women that grew up in great households that still got their mom and dad that's married right now. They, it's just, this is the thing about it, though, bro. It's just, I feel like they either going to be from like a small town somewhere, like, or if they is from a big city, it's just about how they mindset think and what type of friend. Do, do you agree with what type of friends they hang around with? Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. So I mean, if, you know, birds of, a, birds of a feather flock together. <laughs> but, but I do want to say this though. Okay. You, there are women who shop at Whole Foods. Yeah. They go to Barnes and Nobles. Yeah. They, they. They drink their coffee, their Starbucks. They don't go to the club. Right. You know, there are women out there who you don't even think exist because they're not in your world. Exactly. And they're great women. Yep, you're right. Now, I was just finna say that. There are different worlds of girls that, like you said, because I, I might go looking in this certain place and then they might be some. But do you agree that if they were single at Barnes and Nobles, Starbucks, if they're single, what do you think about that? Just because a woman is single doesn't mean they're a bad woman. It just means they haven't been found yet. To me. Oh, okay. I know a lot of great women who they're not even out there to be found. Right. They're not in the club every night. They're not on the internet trying to get clout, trying to be found. Yeah. I think there's a lot of great women who who are, they go to work, go home, and they live their life. That's just, that's just what I've experienced. There are a lot of great women who who just aren't trying to be they're not trying to get found by somebody famous bro if it no, comes for it sure, comes for sure for sure so okay let me see because i ran into don't get me wrong i ran into women like that before and i just think you like wild women who want that chase that want you yeah, like the like, fat like, asses the bbls like, and yeah, all that I, like, I do 
I can't even lie to you. Cause like I said, you I I grew up, bro. I was working I was working a job before I was scamming, right? And I was meeting great women at at my job, you know, um, cause you know I was in that I was in a whole different environment. So I'm meeting girls at work. I'm seeing girls do this. I'm seeing girls do that. But it was still on that on that class of level of cheating and this and that. And I'm just like, cause, cause you got to think I experienced it from all levels. So I'm like, damn. She cheating with this dude at work, but she got this dude that's her husband at night. You know, because mm. you know, working class people, she but I'm thinking outside looking in, like she's this great woman. Like she goes back and forth to work. She works hard. She did this, that. Now, at the same time, it's still like just like a male wanna have sex, a woman wanna have sex. You know what I mean? So I gotta you we gotta both ask ourselves. If there are good women, though, like we say, why aren't we married? Why? Aren't, what do you mean? Why aren't we married? Like, why aren't me? Why? Married? Why is it every girl, woman taken type shit? Yeah. Like, why don't we have think, wives? I think. I think men. I think men. We're dogs, bro. We want. We. 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 Like you say, we're curious. Uh, we get once you get money, you kind of want to like test the waters a little bit more. Yeah. I feel like we hurt women a lot. I feel like women hurt men a lot. It's a, just a divide for real. Yeah. I feel like like the shit you said you seen at work back when you were at work. That shit stuck with you for twenty years, man. For real. Now bro. I don't got. Now we don't got you wanting to trust any female. Now you like, man, fuck all these hoes. I'm gonna just live my life. <laughs> so I feel I feel like men and women are at war, low key. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like she worried about you. She's worried about you. You worried about her. <laughs> so she like. So so guess what. This is the scary part. She go to Kevin Durant party, or she, she or she goes to, cause like every like you said, everybody's not into fame, but it might be that one girl. She goes to the library, but she might like this nigga that read every book on the shelves. She'd have been watching him read all the books on the shelves, <laughs> and she like, oh, I like him. And then you got the one girl who went to Kevin Durant party. Oh, I don't want to miss this opportunity, and she said, I don't want to miss that opportunity. You get what I'm saying? Or you yeah, got the girl who was at the job where the supervisor or the manager want a piece of that ass. And she's like, oh my God, I can get the manager. So it's scary for all, all parties. Yeah. It ain't, ain't nobody safe. You could be at a job at Burger King and she might think messing with the manager, she might get a raise. Get a raise. Yeah. Like, damn. Like, all it plays a part in all ways, Brody. So you agree with Sauce? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I got to G because I, I the, only, the only reason I'm saying that because what I experienced, what yeah. I experienced from what I experienced. That's all. I've been Most through a whole dead. lot. 